What is up, YouTube? It is Doki or Doki Style Gaming, and I am back at it again with another Outriders video for you all today, where we are going over the newest dev update that was just posted on Reddit, the one week to launch dev update, where they're gonna go over all things preloading and launch times, the changes between the demo and launch, patches and post-launch support, item restoration for a lot of players that potentially lost some legendaries, and some of the policies on cheating and hacking, which I think are hilarious, and then a lastly the hell rangers info which is the pre-order bonus for outriders if you decided to pre-order the game so without wasting any more of y'all's time let's actually hop into each one of these topics back to back now the first topic on this dev update is the preloading and launch times and they said for xbox players you'll be able to preload the game today for playstation players preloading will begin 48 hours in advance before the release time which is pretty much standard when it comes to any playstation pre-order and then steam it says they're still determining on preload time so they still don't have anything but they said possibly next week and then epic game store said preloading is not currently possible which i had no idea that was a thing with uh, the epic game store but when talking about the actual launch times on consoles they said for xbox and playstation players it'll be midnight on april 1st in your specific country though for the us they said that it means edt on april 1st at midnight or 9 p.m pacific time or 11 p.m central time and again you can kind of convert that to whatever your time zone is now pc and stadia it says that theirs is going to be from 9 a.m pdt so again kind of convert that to whatever you want but there's also a countdown that you can check out as well which i'll leave in the video description also so that's pretty much it when it comes to the launch time and preloading next they talked about the different changes from the demo to the launch some of the more important ones to highlight is that they said there's a lot of demo content and bug fixes for example including mods for some legendary weapons not triggering properly some balancing changes they said crossplay will no longer be in beta by default and they're also fixing some of the other mechanics as well like the cover system and the travel voting system when used in groups which i'm personally happy about because i kind of hate that system now there definitely are more changes but those are the ones that they wanted to highlight in particular but now moving over to the next topic, which was the patches and post-launch support. Like all looter shooters, Outriders will also have a day one patch. And some of the things that they said will be in that day one patch are, like always, many bug fixes and improvements. In particular, they said focusing on the latter sections of the game. Some performance improvements for pacing and stuttering, they said. Some camera smoothing improvements during cutscenes and dialogues that they said should reduce some of the camera shake that some players aren't really digging. And also some cutscene and dialogue for frame rate improvements. Now some of the post-launch follow-up patches and optimizations are kind of nice, not gonna lie. They said there's gonna be some controller adjustments, which, you know, always nice. Loading time improvements for Xbox and PS4 players, or Xbox One and PS4 players. They said further improvement for co-op game, and they said cross-play friends list and invite system across all platforms. They said, though, this will require you to be using a Square Enix member account, but this is something I've been wanting there to be in game, considering I have a bunch of people on the Discord and friends and family that play this game on all platforms. And with a game like this being fully crossplay, it'll be nice to have a friends list where I could just add players from a different console straight into my game. So I'm super glad that they're already working on a crossplay friends list and invite system. Now there's some other bug fixes as well, but they said the list is going to continue to build as we progress through the launch. So this next bit is pretty self-explanatory, but it's pretty much happening right now in today's maintenance. They said that there's going to be item restoration for players who lost their legendaries. So apparently some players who are losing legendaries because of their autosave mechanic, but long story short, they're doing a maintenance today that should fix that and everybody who previously lost any of their legendaries should be having some in their inventory when they load up the game, if they in fact got some. So not really too much more to go over in that one. Now this next one is something I love to see when games do. It's pretty much hacker hell and I love it. They're talking about their policies for cheating and hacking. Now they talked about the percentage of players that are hacking in the game currently right now and they're like it's pretty much at 0.01 percent but they said they are still tracking everybody who is cheating they said yes even the person who gave themselves 600 legendary weapons but they said uh hopefully the percentage will not grow that much as we move forward but they talked about some of the things that's going to be happening to cheaters in the game so first and foremost the repercussions for being identified as having used cheats they said repercussions will be account-wide not character specific 
They said you will not be able to matchmake with legit players, which I always love that. Matchmaking will now take significantly longer because it's matching you up with that 0.01% of hackers in the game as well. And then they said you'll still be able to play the game solo, but in future, your hub will also have a discreet but visible watermark placed on it so that in gameplay footage created on your account, you'll be readily identified as coming from a flagged account. Account. So if you're a content creator or anybody that wants to show off some of your builds and your hacking, everybody's going to know you're a hacker because you have this watermark on your account. Now, they did say you can technically remove this. And the only way for you to do that, though, is to delete all of your characters and items on your entire account in order to wipe the slate clean. So you technically can pay for your cheated mistakes, but you will have to restart fresh from the very beginning now personally I think this is super fair now they're letting you keep your account your hacked account and you can play by yourself and have fun hacking the game by yourself or if you want to play with other players you'll have to delete everything and play fresh and legit like everybody else they're not just banning your account outright like most games typically would so I think it's a it's a good trade-off if I'm being real and it's kind of funny I love when games do hacker hells and pretty much you're stuck playing with yourself or other people that play just like you so you're not really messing up the game for legit players now the last topic they touched on on their developer update was the hell rangers info or the hell rangers content they said it will become available via your stash for anyone who owns it they said this means if you progress through the story without it you will not miss out on acquiring it in game but they did say please note that this gear is a level lock to 10 so you'll need to meet those requirements achieving level 10 or playing on certain level boosting world tiers before you're able to use it and then also of note a redditor asked what happens if you accidentally dismantle the gear is there going to be a way to get it back later and one of the square enix team members replied with saying that they have certain mechanics in place to ensure that this won't be an issue but again that small bit of hell rangers info is really just for the people who are going to be pre-ordering the game and are going to be wondering where their hell rangers content is so that's everything that we got from this developer update which is the one week to launch update and it's a pretty good one in my opinion because it's a lot of stuff that I know a lot of players are probably wondering asking for and wanting to know about before the game actually launched there's still a lot more information that I'll be covering on the channel as well but for the most part this is everything to kind of know before the game launches in a week I'll be talking about some of the DLCs and microtransaction stuff in other videos coming this week but I wanted to at least get this video out and talk about some of the changes preloading and launch time some of the patches some of the cheating and hacker hell information and things like that so that's really all I got for this video. Let me know what you guys thought about this developer's update. Thank you all for watching. Like always, be sure to leave a like if you liked the video. If you didn't, don't. I am out of here, guys. Thanks for the love. Thanks for the subs. Peace.